Hello, I am Test Driver, welcome to episode 30 of Forza Motorsport. I almost said Project Gotham Racing, it is not for Project Gotham Racing. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be buying a car, because I want to finish up the point-to-point -point races, damn it. And to do so, we are going to be buying, not this, but we are going to be buying the 1995 Nissan Mine Skyline GTR R32, which has a lot of neat colors in it, apparently, or for it. I'm going to pick it in red, because red sounds cool. I'm going to be missing a decent amount of credits after this episode, but I'll be able to pick them back up pretty quickly. Uh, actually, I don't want to go back. Uh, I don't want to race yet. So, I have to get this thing up to S4 class. Or s what am I doing? Garage. Not racing or buying cars. I need to go to the garage. So, I will be using this thing against S2 class. Or no. S4 class cars. So, I'm going to buy some bigger wheels. Get some weight reduction. How much horsepower this car? 335. I'll leave all the suspension and everything. Oh damn, 441 horsepower. I'll take it. Uh, no body kits available. Ah, uh, I get. Uh, yeah. I do kind of want better cornering. Yeah, I want at least five. There we go. All right, that's good enough, I guess. We'll we'll give this a try. I feel like this is gonna end badly because fucking Fujimi Kaido, but. Whatever, I guess. And on to our final point-to-point -point race, or point-to-point -point series. The Club Skyline event. I'm going to get a Skyline GTR V-Spec nah, from this, which will be pretty cool. And we have two races. We have the entire Fujimi Hill Climb and the entire Fujimi Downhill. Oh, boy. Um, those are going to be fun. I may actually get a decent amount of... Oh, I actually am going to get a decent amount of cuts back from this, so... It won't, it's not that bad, I guess. All right, third attempt at this, because I can get past the uh, first actual like major turn without smashing into everybody. So let's try and not do that. This car revs really slow, by the way. You what the fuck, asshole? What the fuck was that? I'll keep going, because I didn't get much, if any, damage. No, I don't think I got any damage off of it. But what the f oh for fuck's sake. Just gonna run myself into a wall. They don't even have to. Whatever, I'm continuing on, I don't care. I've lost I've lost all the fucks to give in this race already. Yeah, I think I definitely have the handling advantage over these guys, which is pretty decent considering uh, what track we're on. Okay, don't get in my fucking way, even though you're gonna do it anyways. The fuck out of here. I need first place, not you. Nothing happens if you get in first place. It only affects anybody if I get in first place. Ah, damn it. I'm kind of sabotaging them, but I don't care. I'm already tired of their bullshit. Considering I've had to restart like two or three times. Ah. Okay, I thought I was going to smash into the back of him, but I didn't. No, don't pass me again. Fuck. Okay. I have taken first place for the first time in this race. That was a rhyme. Let's see if I can keep first place. That's a good, uh, good thing to wonder. Because it may or may not happen. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? Go away. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get for running into me. I swear I had no input on that. I had nothing to do with that. Now he's very far back. Get fucked. This will be the longest point-to-point uh, -point episode. I just realized. Oh my god, what's going on? Why am I sliding? I'm gonna get fucking. Uh, I thought I was gonna get punted. I don't know why the uh, camera's deciding to go underneath the ground, but whatever. This car's a roll cage, and I just realized. And I didn't put it in there. So it's a race car! Quite literally. Because usually you only, you know, unless it's some sort of drift or race car, you don't need a fucking roll cage in your car. 
Or it's a Jeep, or you want one in a convertible, but this is neither. I'm curious, if, I guess maybe it's a Jeep thing, it's not like a requirement thing to have the uh, roll bar in Jeeps, Jeep Wranglers. Because like 90% of convertible cars don't have fucking roll, roll, even roll bars. Some of them do have roll bars of sorts, but not generally. So I wonder if uh, it's just some like Jeeps like, hey, we should probably do this or else we're going to get sued probably. Because I feel like a convertible car and a Jeep would probably end up in the same uh, same state if they rolled over without a roll cage. I don't think I've ever driven a Jeep without a roll cage, honestly. I was just saying about that. Or at least a roll bar of some sort, because like the CJs and stuff had roll bars instead of roll cages. They just had one bar and it was kind of held up a little bit and that was about it. Oh, can I make... nope. I was thinking I might be able to make that turn, but the answer was no. I've never made that turn, I don't think. I have this weird feeling that I'm going to have to grind, grind for money in this game at some point. I really don't want to. But it may have to happen before, uh... Although, I don't know. Because there is going to be a lot of money coming in from, like, the championship races and the professional and all that. I guess I'll decide on, uh, money grinding whenever I actually get to a point where I need to, if, if at all. I may not need to. Like I've said before, I've never actually played through this game completely. I've only ever played through bits and pieces. And then I've given up because I get bored of things easily if I don't fucking... This is why I let's play things, because then I'll actually play games. If I don't let's play things, I won't play games. Because like, I get bored so easily, like, playing multiplayer or whatever. Like, you know, Overwatch is one of my favorite multiplayer games and I've played it once in the past two months, I think. No, maybe twice. And there's still new shit added to it, like, all the time, and fucking, here I go. Being an idiot. Oh wow, 5,000 credits. That's a lot of credits to spend on repairs. Okay, I'll try not to damage it as much this uh, next race. Holy shit. Alright, here we are on our downhill. Time to do the exact same thing I just did, but reversed. So, that'll be fun. Especially because uh, this car isn't... I don't know, I think those cars have like 500 or something horsepower. Because this car is 414, I think it was. Or somewhere around... Four, somewhere in mid-400s, mid I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's obviously not hardly even keeping up with these two fucks. Which, funny enough, is one the uh, R34 mine Skyline was, you know, one of the main cars I used in Forza 2. One of the main cars you get early on in Forza 2, oddly enough. <laughs> okay, I got no damage off of that. I'll take it. I don't care if I spun him out. I used to want to try and race cleanly, but fuck that. I, I, I ain't dealing with that anymore. I'm not going to deal with the stress of trying to race cleanly. Ugh, this track is so fucking twisty. Because we're in the fucking mountains of Japan. I don't even know what my time was on the last one. I know I got like 30 seconds in uh, penalties. That's about all I know, though. All the other time-related things are a mystery to me. So enough to actually make this turn instead of going off the fucking track. I've clipped that, that bridge so many times, or that uh, tunnel. I've clipped the side of it so many times. And it definitely sucks when it does happen. Ah! Red paint on the walls. A little more red paint on the wall. Well, good thing is I don't have damage still. And I'm still pretty far out in first. Which is also pretty decent. Make the damn turn, boy. Ed boy. Ed boy. I'm a 
son of a shepherd. My videos consist of like three things. Cars, references to Ed and Eddie, and forgetting how to speak. If you have all those three things, you can make one of my videos pretty easily. I don't like this part of this track. It's too much downhill at once. Like, make it at least a little bit flatter. I have to give him uh, credit for creating, you know, a very interesting original track, I have to say. And it's surprising that there's only been back in one game past this game, which is Forza 4 kind of wondering why they didn't actually include it in like Forza fucking 6 or something or Forza 7. Considering they brought back Maple Valley, like, why not bring back, you know, Fujimi Kaido or Sedona or like any, literally any track. Any uh, original track. Because original tracks are like what makes a game. Anybody can make a game and put, you know, Road America or Laguna Seca or Nürburgring in it or whatever. But, it takes, you know, some talent to create your own track that people actually really enjoy racing on. Hence Maple Valley, which was probably the best one. But there are a lot of people who would love to see this track back. Especially considering they had a, like a full lap version in fucking Forza 4. And I have a funny story about that I'll tell real quick. So, a couple of years ago, I was playing Forza 4 online with a YouTuber known as... Uh, I am Jax LPs, yes, that is the name. Still follow him on Twitter and everything, he barely posts anything anymore, sadly. But uh, I was in a, uh, a an online race, and the fantastic idea we had was taking the lowest class cars you could possibly have, it was like F100 or whatever, and taking them around the full course of Fujimi Kaido, the full entire circuit, which is like 11 miles long or something, for three laps. That was awful. But I stayed through it. I stuck through it in all three laps. I lost by a lot, obviously. But uh, yeah, that was that was one of the more interesting experience, uh, experiences I've had on Fujimi Kaido. And speaking of, we won. So we don't have to deal with Fujimi Kaido anymore. Or uh, Pacific Shipyards. Or, ooh, I didn't gain damage. 27,000 credits. Hell yeah. Give me them credits. Yeah, level 26. Nopey. Send their sponsorship, turbo and supercharger, and I'm going to get a Skyline R34 from this, which is pretty exciting because I don't ever use R34s in games unless I have to. So there's the R34 we got. It's a NUR, which is 580 horsepower. Holy shit, that is a uh, that is a lot of horsepower, and I like how the braking and cornering is garbage compared to it as well. 4.5 and 4.6 or whatever. That's uh that's not very great. So that is. As I mentioned, that is the uh, every single point-to-point -point event done in a game. I've completed one section of the game, which was ten events, which, you know... I'm close on this one, too. We only have three events left. But yeah, these are going to be fun. I still, have, I still have 45 events left to go, I think. Something like that. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Forza. I'll pull up my stats because I keep forgetting to do that. Thank you for watching, and I am out of here. See ya.